KPM. Welcome back to the Cold Show, and we are still in the safari with Dr. Shafika. Hi. All right, Doctor, mm -hmm. you are still treating the big cat. Yes. I guess it's time for us to entertain two questions from our viewers. All right, sure. Let me check here. All right, the first one is from Adi Aisha Sophia from Selengo. She wanted to know how long have you been working as a wildlife vet? Oh, interesting question mm -hmm. there, Adi Aisha. Well, it's been about um, five years for me. Five years? Yes. If mm -hmm. it's only one year also, it's very impressive. Mm -hmm. Five years, it's amazing. All right, another one, it's from Miss Liana Shahira mm -hmm. from Bandar Puncha Alam. Okay, she wanted to know what are the wildlife animals that you mm -hmm. have treated so far? Oh, there's been a lot actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Among them being um, giraffes, uh, elephants, um, rhinos and even birds. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Doctor. How yes. was the stick just now? Oh, I loved it. It was splendid. Eh? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Didit TV KPM for Tahap Dua. Today, we are learning English for Year 6. And we have our lovely teacher here in the studio, who is Mr. Haik, Muhammad Haikal bin Abdullah Chi from SK Abdul Samad Klang Slango. He is the Ketua Panitia Bahasa Inggeris. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Great, okay. Also with us in the studio, we have our sign language teacher who is Mr. Koh Kian Ni from SK Pernikan Khas Batu Pahat, Batu Pahat Johor. Hello, welcome teacher. Thanks for joining us you both in the studio today. And as I've mentioned just now from our earlier stage, uh, we've actually um, sort of touched on our topic today, which is... The coolest job. Oh, it's a yeah. question. We're going to find which one is the coolest job. Okay, so Mr. Haika will elaborate more on that. But before that, let's first introduce our pupils for today. Let's have them on the screen now. Hello, hi, everyone. Hello, children. Wow, everyone's looking hi. very dapper today. Okay, Mr. Haika, can you introduce them one by one? It's my pleasure, mm -hmm. Shafika. All right, so uh, the first one is Haris. Hi, Haris. Hi, Haris. Hi. Haris, you are from which school, yeah? Yes. I'm you are from, from which school? I'm from SK Meru. All right, mm -hmm. good to know. Mm -hmm. And the next one, we have Auni Hanani, Binti Hasbuddin. Hi, Auni. Hi, Auni. Hi. How are you today, Auni? I'm feeling good. Good. Okay, so you are from which school? I'm from SK Agro Samad. It's my school, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, next up, we have got Ilman Hakimi. Hello, Mr. Ilman there. Hi, I'm from SK Bandar Baru Kuala Selangor. SK Bandar Baru Kuala Selangor. Hi. I'm calling him Mr. Ilman. Mr. Ilman. Because mm -hmm. I could see that he's wearing... Uh, yeah, the hat there. Okay. We're going to find out later. Yes, let's find out later. Yeah. And our last pupil. It's Ningzi, Emilia. Hello, Ningzi. Hi. How are you today, Ningzi? I'm good. And Ningzi is also from SK Abdul Samad. My school, okay. my students. Thank you, pupils, for introducing yourself there. Okay, right. Now, uh, Mr. Haikal, mm -hmm. let's uh, take a look at our uh, learning objectives and also learning standards. All right, Shafika. Mm -hmm. So, as for today, the learning standards for our lesson today is first, 1.1.1. Recognise and reproduce independently a wide range of target language phonemes. And the second one is 1.2.1. Understand with little or no support 
the main idea of longer simple texts on a range of family topics. And as for learning objectives, at the end of today's lesson, it, it is going to be a listening lesson, a listening skill lesson. First, pupils are going to listen to a radio program mm -hmm. and answer at least three true or false statements correctly. Mm -hmm. And next, they're going to listen to a conversation and number the steps in correct order. That is the learning objective for today's lesson. Okay, Mr. Haikal, I'm pretty sure our pupils online and at home watching now are very excited to learn more. But before that, um, let's perhaps... Um, I ha I'm pretty sure we have an activity that we wanted to do, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. But before that, Shafika, okay. I guess it's my turn to introduce to all our students in the Google Meet, also right. at home, the unusual jobs. Mm. Are you ready? Okay. So the first one, take a look at the picture. It's the search and rescue pilot. What's unusual about this job is that the pilot doesn't carry any passengers. Mm. But the job scope is only to search and look for people who are in need or in emergency. Right. All right. The next unusual job is the police officer. It's not like the common police officer riding a petrol car or a motorbike, but this police officer is riding a horse mm. in the city. Right. All right. Interesting. That's, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And next, earlier on, mm -hmm. right, Shafika yes. has acted out as a wildlife vet, a wildlife vet. All right. So a wildlife vet works in the safari mm -hmm. to treat the wildlife animals. Mm. All right. Okay. And next up is. The gardener. It's not like a common gardener at your school, yeah, students. Okay, this gardener works in the safari and just imagine while the gardener is the gardener is trimming the trees or the plants mm -hmm. and then suddenly a giraffe pop up in front of him. Wow. Yeah, that's cool, right? <laughs> cool. Next up is the travel writer. And what's amazing about this job? He or she doesn't move or doesn't travel and using that gadget, he's viewing a video or a content and make a review about it. Oh wow, therefore the travel writer doesn't travel. Yes. Wow, interesting as well. Unusual. Unusual. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. And next one, I guess our students at home, this is uh, their hobby, right? The most common hobby, playing online games or playing computer games and we have got the video game Tester. So before any game is being released to the crowd, mm -hmm. so there is someone who runs through the game first and see how it goes about. Wow. And right. last but not least, mm -hmm. alright students, we have got mm, yummy licious. What is that? The ice cream tester. Oh. Alright, the job of ice cream tester is to taste numbers of flavors and decide which flavor is good to go. Ah, okay, Mr. Haikal, I'm pretty sure um, there's a lot that you can take from there and yep. I'm confident that it, they're pretty unusual but also pretty cool. Okay, sure. All right, we'll have more activities and also lessons after this but we'll go for a short break here right back on Did It TV KPM. TV KPM Hello, welcome back to Didi TV KPM for Tahap 2 and today we're still here with Mr. Haikal as our English teacher and also not to forget Mr. Ko as our sign language teacher. Alright, uh, just a few uh, minutes ago, uh, perhaps um, uh, Mr. Haikal whispered to me that we're learning about listening uh, activities, right? 
for today. So we're going to be doing more of that, I yeah. presume. Okay, mm -hmm. in this, today's lesson, we're going to do few listening activities ah. with our students. So can we proceed with the first one, Shalika? Of course, let's go. All right, so the first listening activity is based on one of the unusual jobs, which is the ice cream taster. Mm -hmm. So our students at home and also in the Google Meet are going to listen to a radio program about the ice cream taster and they're going to answer at least three true or false questions correctly. Okay. So there are six statements here. All right. So before you do the task, before you listen to the audio, okay, it's always advisable for you to go through all the statements first. Okay, so that while listening, you know which keywords you need to look for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so students in the Google Meet, can you please show me your worksheet? for this activity. Yeah, hold your worksheet. Good job, everyone. You are ready. So let's go through the statements first. All right, listen and write true or false. The first statement, Jin tastes 10 ice creams every day. The second one, Jin will taste three samples from each flavor. The third one, Jin has been working as an ice cream taster for more than 10 years. The fourth one, Jin enjoys her job very much. The fifth one, Jin's favorite are tea flavor. And last but not least, Jin doesn't eat ice cream at home. So, if you are ready, please show me thumbs up, children. Show me the thumbs up if you are ready for the listening activity. Good job, Aoni. Good job, Haris. Good job, everyone. So you are ready. So let's listen to the audio for the first round. Jean Hunt has the best job in the world. She works in a factory where she tastes 60 ice creams every day. I went to meet Jean. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and she's already tasted 10 ice creams. On a typical day, she tastes 20 different flavors, with three samples of each flavor. Jean, you're tasting chocolate now. <laughs> That's right. Have you decided which flavor is the best yet? No, I haven't. I've still got one more to try. <laughs> How much ice cream have you tasted since you got this job? Well, I've had the job for 15 years. So I've eaten a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Do you ever get bored of ice cream? Never. I love the challenge of finding the best flavours. I know that ice cream makes people happy, so it's a rewarding job in lots of ways. Hmm. What's your favourite flavour? I'm always interested in trying new flavours. I tasted tea-flavoured ice cream last week. But my favourite are fruit flavours. Apple, pear, mango. They all make good ice cream. And when you go home, do you eat ice cream? Of course I do. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. All right. Right, Mr. Haikal, that was um, our listening activity, the yes. first one. All right, usually in the real classroom, mm -hmm. students are going to listen to the same audio three times at least. Ah. Okay, but today we're going to listen, I guess, twice. Okay. But before that, Shafika, I right. guess we should ask our friends in the Google Meet mm -hmm. how many questions they have attempted so far. Okay, let's uh, ask Haris, them. Haris, can I ask you, Haris, then on your microphone, Haris? Yes. Okay, uh, did you manage to answer all the statements or just a few of them? Yes. All oh. six? All six. All six. All, All right. Six. Good wow. job. All right. So I guess let's listen again. Okay. For the second listening, mm -hmm. I guess you can recheck your attempt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, your true or false uh, answers just now. So listen again and double check whether you have attempted the, the statements right or not. So if you're ready, let's listen to the same audio once again. Okay. Jean Hunt has the best job in the world. She works in a factory 
where she tastes sixty ice creams every day. I went to meet Jean. It's ten o'clock in the morning, and she's already tasted ten ice creams. On a typical day, she tastes twenty different flavors, with three samples of each flavor. Jean, you're tasting chocolate now. <laughs> That's right. Have you decided which flavor is the best yet? No, I haven't. I've still got one more to try. <laughs> How much ice cream have you tasted since you got this job? Well, I've had the job for fifteen years, so I've eaten a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Do you ever get bored of ice cream? Never. I love the challenge of finding the best flavors. I know that ice cream makes people happy, so it's a rewarding job in lots of ways.、Hmm. What's your favorite flavor? I'm always interested in trying new flavors. I tasted tea-flavored ice cream last week, but my favorite are fruit flavors: apple, pear, mango. They all make good ice cream. And when you go home, do you eat ice cream? Of course I do. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Oh, Mr. Haikal, I guess it's a very、uh, important. Actually, it makes a difference when you hear the audio twice, huh? True.、Mm. Okay, you can double check and confirm your choice of answers.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so everyone, students at home, also in the Google Meet, it's time for us to discuss the answers. Okay. Okay, so in order to do that,、mm -hmm. uh, for our discussion session, I'm going to call one by one, and you please read the statement. And tell us whether the statement is true or false. Right. Okay, let's get started with the first one, Auni Hanani. Okay, Auni, read the first statement and reveal your answer. Jean tastes ten ice creams every day.、Hmm, false. What do you think? False. False. Okay,、mm -hmm. Auni, if you could recall. In the audio, how many ice creams that she tastes in a day? Sixty. Well done.、Okay. It's a false statement. Good job, Auni.、Mm -hmm. And I guess Shafika,、yes. you can reward her with a thumbs up. Up. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's proceed with the second statement. Let's hear from Ilman Hakimi. All right, Ilman. Please read the second statement and reveal your answer. Jean will taste three samples of each flavor. All right,、True. from each flavor. True. Ah, okay. Okay, True. let's see.、Good. Yes, you got it right. Yes. True. Okay, Jean will taste three sample、mm -hmm. from each flavor. Another thumbs up. Okay, but right now it's for Ilman. Ilman. All right, for the third one, let's hear from Ningzi. All right, Ningzi, read the third statement and tell us whether it is true or false. Jin has been working as an ice cream tester for more than ten years. What do you think? False. 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 Anyone would like to help Ningzi? Anyone with different answer, maybe? Right. Who can help? Maybe you can raise your hand up. Yeah, raise your hands if you want to help or you、yeah. agree. Okay, Auni wants to help. Okay, Auni, you want to help Auni? Do you agree with Lingzi? She said it's a false statement. Uh, no. Why? What What could you hear in the audio? Jin has been working and as an ice cream taster for fifteen years. Fifteen、mm. years. So it is actually more than.、Mm. Ten years. years. So、mm. it it is actually a true statement. <laughs> All right, it's okay, Ningzi. It's a good try.、Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's proceed with our next student, Haris. All right, Haris, read the fourth statement and tell us your answer. Jean enjoys her job very much. Hmm. True. False. True. True. Okay. If you could remember in the audio just now, she said, 
I never get bored with yes. my job. So mm -hmm. it implements that she really enjoys her job so much. So it's a True, True statement, one thumbs up for Harris. Harris. Okay. okay, for the fifth statement, let's hear from, I guess I want to give another chance to Ningzi. Okay, let's do that. Alright, Ningzi, mm -hmm. read the fifth statement. Uh, Jin's favourite is tea flavour. Okay. Um, True. True, okay. Uh, anyone like to help Ningzi? Okay, he's already raised his hand. Ilman. Ilman, yeah. Okay, Ilman. Share with us. Is tea flavor Jin, her Jin, favorite? Jin's favorite is tea flavor false. Jin's favorite is fruit, is mango flavor. All right, ah. good job, Ilman. Actually, Jin mentioned in the conversation mm -hmm. she loves fruits. Fruit. Flavors. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Ningzi. For your attempt, I guess we shall reward with a thumbs, thumbs up. up. It's okay. okay. Trying is also a big achievement. All right, last but not least, for statement number six, let's hear from Ilman. Okay. Jeans doesn't eat ice cream at home. False. False. 100% sure, Ilman? Yes. Good job. It's a false statement. All right. So, Jin does eat ice cream at home. Mm -hmm. She must be eating a lot of ice cream, right? Yes. She must love the job because she loves the challenge as well. Yes. Good mm -hmm. job, everyone. Okay. We have done for our first listening activity. Okay. All right, well, uh, for this activity, I'm pretty sure it's one of the many activities that Mr. Haikal will do uh, for listening uh, skills, to test yeah. listening skills. Okay, but before that, Shafika, yes. I'd like to highlight again. Mm -hmm. So, in the real classroom, okay, you can request from your teacher, from your English teacher, to listen to the same audio for three Times, times okay for at least three times right. so if you listen for the first one maybe you get confused mm -hmm. because there are few statements right mm -hmm. and then the second one maybe you can reconfirm on your attempt mm -hmm. for few first mm -hmm. maybe for the first few statements and if you got a chance to listen three times I'm pretty sure you can attempt all the statements well. Yes, definitely. You get to cross-check yes. if there's anything you made wrong. Okay, Mr. Haika, can you do a bit of a conclusion uh, to what we've learned in the segment? All right. Mm -hmm. So, the most important while you are listening, try right. to look at the keywords. That's why before we start listening to the audio, we need to go through the statements first. So when you go through the set statements, then you know which keywords you need to listen uh, attentively, right? During when the audio is playing. Playing, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure our pupils online. I hope they had a fun time doing this listening skills, and we have will have more soon. But uh, before that, Mr. Haikal, perhaps um, uh, because uh, our topic is the coolest jobs Job? as a question that means there's a lot of um uh things that we can do in this world that's not um common. that's common not yeah, common not common you can say it unusual as well true but it can be cool yes right so i'm wearing now as a vet uh, veterinarian veterinarian for uh, wildlife and you're wearing as a chef yes mm, okay all right so before we go on to further uh, activities we'll go for a short break first sure all right mr Haiga. sure and uh, we'll be right back after this break on did tv kpm KPM. 
And you're back here still with me on Didi TV KPM and today we're learning English for year 6 Tahap 2. Okay, all right. Today we're still here with Mr. Haikal and for this segment the topic is get it right. That get means it right. What is it that we have to get right, Mr. Haikal? All right, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, in this activity, right, another listening activity, they are going to listen to a clip of okay. a conversation right. and they have to sequence the order of an activity. Oh, yes. okay. Right, I'm, not, I'm not going to reveal it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they need to listen attentively to the audio after this. All right. So can we proceed? Of course. All right. So boys and girls, everyone at home, you can take a look at the screen. Meanwhile, our friends in the Google Meet, I have tell them, I've told them to print out the worksheet. Mm -hmm. Can you please show me, boys and girls, your worksheet? Are you ready with the worksheet? Yes, you can hold it up on your yes. screen. Yes, thank you so much. Good job, boys and girls. So, you are going to listen and number the steps in order from one until six. Okay. So, this is a different learning acti uh, listening activity actually. Mm -hmm. uh, before this, you listen and you answer true false. And this time around, you listen and you number the steps in correct order. So, are we ready to go? Okay. If you are ready, show me double thumbs up. Double thumbs up, boys and girls. Everyone at home also, are you ready? Okay. So, show me double thumbs up. All right, as usual, Shafika. Yes. Uh, like uh, before, I told all of them to go through the statements first. Mm -hmm. Don't rush into things, all right? Mm. You go through all the uh, statements there. So, we have six statements, all right? Steps of doing something. So, the first one, A, is warm the ice cream a little. What about B, Shafika? B, write the results in a book. Alright, C, put the ice cream on a gold spoon. And for D, look at the ice cream. E, spit the ice cream into a bowl. And last one, F, move it around your mouth. All right, if you could see here in the touch sheet, it starts with the verbs, right? Warm, right, put, look, speed, move. So while listening, look at the keyword. They are ever ready, I guess. Of course. So let's listen to the audio for the first round. Can you explain to us what you do? Yes, of course. There are three stages to tasting ice cream. First, you look at it. If the ice cream doesn't look good, don't eat it. Next, you warm the ice cream a little. If you eat 60 samples of freezing ice cream, your mouth freezes and you get a terrible headache. Ouch, it hurts. Finally, you taste the ice cream. I use a gold spoon because it hasn't got any taste. Wooden and plastic spoons have their own taste, so you can't taste the ice cream flavours properly. So you put the ice cream in your mouth, move it around a little, then spit it out into a bowl. Then I write what I think in a notebook. All right. Okay. Okay. I mm -hmm. could see that our students might need more list, uh, more time to listen to the audio. Right. So I guess Shafika, let's listen again to the audio okay, okay, to let's... help you answer the questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you explain to us what you do? Yes, of course. There are three stages to tasting ice cream. First, you look at it. If the ice cream doesn't look good, don't eat it. Next, you warm the ice cream a little. If you eat 60 samples of freezing ice cream, your mouth freezes and you get a terrible headache. Ouch, it hurts. Finally, you taste the ice cream. I use a gold spoon because it hasn't got any taste. Wooden and plastic spoons have their own taste, so you can't taste the ice cream flavours properly. So you put the ice cream in your mouth, move it around a little, then spit it out into a bowl. Then I write what I think in a notebook. 
All right, right actually, mm. uh, you could hear the the, the MC ask uh, Jin, Questions, right? Yeah. What are the steps? Okay, and then Jin said that there are three stages, mm -hmm. stages of tasting ice cream. Right. But the steps, there are six steps. Ah. Uh, don't get confused. Step stages. Right, that's how you have to listen really yeah. carefully. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, boys and girls, wow, they are working hard, I guess. They are working hard and they're trying to remember, Mr. Haika, yes. perhaps we go another round. Yes, another round of listening. So, mm -hmm. let's listen to the same audio for the final round. Can you explain to us what you do? Yes, of course. There are three stages to tasting ice cream. First, you look at it. If the ice cream doesn't look good, don't eat it. Next, you warm the ice cream a little. If you eat 60 samples of freezing ice cream, your mouth freezes and you get a terrible headache. Ouch, it hurts! Finally, you taste the ice cream. I use a gold spoon because it hasn't got any taste. Wooden and plastic spoons have their own taste, so you can't taste the ice cream flavours properly. So you put the ice cream in your mouth, move it around a little, then spit it out into a bowl. Then I write what I think in a notebook. All right, okay. time's up. Yes. <laughs> but Shafika, uh -huh. there are something that is uh, for me interesting from what the audio. It? What was it? I, I, uh, I, uh, I wonder, how does it feel to mm -hmm. taste 60 flavours of ice cream in a day? Oh, wow! 60, you yes, know? Yes, of yeah. course. Not that is why one of the steps, you have to warm the ice cream. So yes. you won't get like brain freeze. True. Mm -hmm. okay. Jin mentioned that she might get headache yes. yeah, if mm -hmm. she did not warm the ice cream a little. Right. Alright, so let's proceed with our discussion. So okay. are you ready, boys and girls? Are you ready? Yes ready? or no? Yes, he's putting a thumbs up. Yeah, How about put a the thumbs rest? up. Harris is ready. Ilman is ready. What about Auni and Ningzi? Auni is ready, Ningzi. Okay. All right, so we are good to go. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, listen from Ilman. Ilman, what is the first step in testing ice cream? Look at the ice cream. Look at the ice cream. So it's the. Is it true or not? Yes. Wonderful! Correct. Yes. First, you need to look at the ice cream. Okay, so for that, Shafika, mm, rewards one thumbs up for Ilman. Ilman. Okay, next, the second step in tasting ice cream. Let's hear from Ningzi. Ningzi, which one is the second step? Uh, warm the ice cream a little. Good job! Oh, it's correct. Warm, yes, warm the ice cream a little so that she won't get headache. Brain freeze and headache. Yes. <laughs> so good job, Ningzi, this time around. Yes, you got it right. The second step is warm the ice cream a little. Okay. Next step. All right, let's hear from Harris. Could you please, could you please tell us what is the third step in tasting an ice cream? Put the ice cream on a gold spoon. Put the ice cream on a gold spoon. Do mm -hmm. you have one at home, Shafika? I a just have like a stainless steel spoon. Stainless steel <laughs> spoon. Alright, let's see. Wonderful! Great job! Is the correct answer? Yep, put the ice cream on a gold spoon. Because okay. she said that she wanted to remain the taste right. of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's proceed. Which one is the fourth step of tasting an ice cream? Let's hear from Auni Hanyani. Auni, tell us. Move it around your mouth. Move it around your mouth. Good job. You oh. got it right. Okay, the next one you need to move it 
around your mouth. mouth. So Ninzi got it correct. Aoni. Aoni got it yes. correct. Ninzi did and Haris did. Should we give them perhaps a thumbs up? Yep, Shafika. Okay. All right. So while Shafika is uh, putting the thumbs up on right. the chart, let's proceed with the fifth step. So back to Ilman. Ilman, tell us which one is the fifth step of tasting ice cream. Spit the ice cream into a bowl. Spit the ice cream into a bowl. Let's check it out. You got it Correct. right. Wonderful, Good Ilman. Job. The fifth step is spit the ice cream into a bowl. So mm. it's pretty obvious, right? The sixth step of tasting an ice cream. But yes. let's hear from our friend Ningzi. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Ningzi, which, what is the last step of tasting an ice cream? Yeah. Huh? Write the result in a book. Write the result in a book. Yes, the, that is the last step of tasting an ice cream. Well, good job, well everyone. Done. They got it all correct. Yeah, but then let's check. Mm -hmm. Okay, you all of you managed to go to get six out of six. Correct? Can you please uh, show me? And tell us how many you got it right. Ilman, how many? Six out of six? Did you manage to get all correct? Okay, Ilman, perhaps yes, you can lift all it up. Correct. All correct. Good all job. Correct. What okay. about you, Auni? Yes, all correct. All correct also. What about you, Haris? I got uh, all correct. Wonderful. Ah. And last but not least, Ningzi. Um, four. Oh, you got four out of six. But wow. it's fine. That's right? still fine. Okay. It's a learning process. Mm -hmm. I right? hope pupils at home also got their answers correct as well, Mr. Haika. And um, right, before we move on, I still have actually one question to ask. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that we have to spit out the ice cream after tasting it? Hmm. Mm. To maybe to see the texture? I'm not so sure. Oh, also, perhaps not to mix it with extra flavours afterwards, right? Yeah, Because they have true. 60 flavours in a day. Yes, Goodness. Shafika. Okay. So right now, mm -hmm. we I want all of you, especially students at home, and of course, our friends in the Google Meet, to put on your thinking cap. All right, now I'm putting on my thinking hat, so I want you mm -hmm. to put on your thinking cap. There are two questions here. The first one, would you like to be an ice cream taster? Mm -hmm. Why and why not? I guess uh, to answer this one, let's call two of our friends here. Okay. Let's start off with um, Auni. Oh, Auni, right. Auni. could you please respond to this, to this question? Would you like to be an ice cream taster, Auni? Yes. Because yes. I love ice cream so much. Wow, straight away with the reason. <laughs> yes, because she said I love ice, ice cream, cream so, so much. much. Who didn't, right? Who doesn't, right? Yep. Mm -mm. Uh, what about you, Ilman? Would you like to be an ice cream tester, Ilman? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Different answer, no. Wow. Why, Ilman? Why? Tell us. Because I, for me, ice cream are too sweet. Oh. Ice cream taste too sweet. Too sweet. Okay, mm. Ilman must be practicing healthy lifestyle. That's Shafika. good, Ilman. So we have <laughs> mixed of responses, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have another question. Okay. An interesting one. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Because we have been listening to audios about ice cream, right? Yes. So I guess it's time for us to share about your favorite flavor of ice cream. So let's start with Miss Shafika. Oh, What's me your first. favorite? Yeah. Okay. Well, only one. Jean doesn't love tea flavor, but I do. <laughs> oh, you love maybe green tea flavor? Green tea flavor is very nice. I love green tea for uh, drinks and also for ice cream. Wow. Okay. Miss Haika, what about you? What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Hmm, my favorite ice cream flavor is macadamia. Academia, yeah. wow, very rich flavor. Yeah, mm. nutty, nutty flavor. Okay. All right, so let's hear from four of our friends here. Mm -hmm. We start off with Ilman. Ilman, 
though you doesn't enjoy eating ice cream, Iman, but I I guess maybe you have got one at least one yes. at least favorite flavor. Mm -hmm. Could you please tell us, Ilman, what is your favorite flavor? It's it's uh oh he's thinking there. <laughs> at least something you can actually eat. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, something you can actually eat. Chocolate. Chocolate. All right, chocolate. Okay. Caramel on top of it. Uh, uh, with what? On top of it? With caramel. With caramel, caramel on top wow, of that's it. That's delicious. Right, that's delicious. What about you, Aoni? My favorite is coffee. Come again? My favorite is coffee. 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 Wow. Ah. What about you, Haris? My favorite flavor ice cream is mango. Mango flavor, and last but not least, Ningzi. What's your favorite flavor? My favorite uh, flavor ice cream is durian. Durian. Wow. Okay. Very exquisite flavor there, and I'm yeah. sure uh, people at home are also answering this question. Um, we'll go on for more activities after this, and we'll go for a short break on Didik TV KPM. TV KPM. Welcome back to Tahap Dua on Didik TV KPM. Still with me, Shafika Farahin, and also Mr. Haikal, our English teacher for today. And our segment is called When I Grow Up. Yes, ah. yes, yes, Shafika. Right. When I Grow Up. up. So, our students are going to share with us mm -hmm. and everyone watching us today their dream jobs. Okay. But we're going to make it more interesting. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a guessing game. I love games. All right. So, I've assigned two of them to write the descriptions or clues about their dream job and let their friends guess what is their dream job. Okay. But before that, Shafika, mm -hmm. let us show the model of this guessing game activity. Okay. Okay, for example, mm -hmm. I'm the student. Right. And you are the teacher. Teacher, okay. All right, so teacher, mm -hmm. could you guess my dream job? Okay. I work in a big open park. I use the stilts to move around. Trimming plants and planting trees a part of my job. Mm. Who am I? What is my dream job? Wow, that's very interesting. I think you are a hmm, bush cutter? Bush cutter? <laughs> Acceptable it teacher. Is? A gardener. You're a gardener. Yes. Oh, because All I right. was hearing stilts. Okay. Yeah. All right. I move around uh, using the stilts because ah. in uh, the pupils' book. It okay. uh, it said that uh, the gardener in the safari used the stilts to move around. Oh, because, they do. Yes, because it's very big bush. Of and course, trees they have there. large trees. Yep, mm. that's why they use the stilts to move around. Right. No wonder. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's see whether our pupils can do it or not. All right. All right. Okay. Let's are you guys them, ready? Yeah, a chance to attempt for this activity. If mm -hmm. you are ready, boys and girls, show us thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, ready. Great. So let's hear from Ilman. Ilman is going to read the clues of his dream job and let the other three friends to guess what is Ilman's dream job. Okay, Ilman, over to you. Oh, try to guess who I am. I develop the concept for structure and turn those concepts into images and plans, which eventually may becomes homes, 
office buildings and other facilities. Okay, mm. so they need to listen carefully, right, right. to Ilman's description. So mm -hmm. Ilman, can you please read again your descriptions and the others please listen attentively. I developed the concept for the structure and turned those concepts into images and plans, which eventually many may become homes, office buildings and other facilities. All right. Okay. okay. Mm. Everyone is keeping quiet. Yes, they are <laughs> thinking, thinking actually. Mm -hmm. Can we hear maybe from Harris uh, or Inzi or even Auni? Can you make a guess? Who would like to make the first guess? Yeah. What is Ilman's dream job? Can you raise your hand, please? Yes. Ah. Okay, Ninzi. Okay, Ninzi. What do you think, Ninzi? Uh, architect. Architect. Right. Okay, so let's hear from Ilman. Ilman, is it correct or not? Yes. Good yes. job, wow. Ninzi. Well Ninzi. done. Yeah. That was a fast response and I'm sure we want to give something for Ninzi. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will reward her with another thumbs up. Okay. okay but before that, okay, I guess while you are doing, uh, while putting the thumbs up for Ningzi, right. let's have another pupil mm -hmm. to read the clues of her dream job. So let's welcome Auni. Auni, please read the clue and let your friend guess what is your dream job. And listen carefully, everyone, yeah? Try to guess who am I. I am a person who teaches in a school and I love working with children. Who am I? Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess once again, Auni, please read the clues of your dream job. I'm a person who teaches in a school and I love working with children. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? All right, so open to the three of Auni's friends today uh -huh. uh, to make a guess. What is Auni's dream job? Yes. Anyone, raise up your hand. Uh huh, raise up your hand. Does anyone want to? Oh, okay. I think uh, Haris raised his hands. First. Haris, Ayman. So let's hear from Haris. Okay, Haris, make a guess. I think it's school teacher. It's a school yeah. teacher. Auni? Yes, it is correct. Well okay. done, Haris. Good job. All right. So I guess let's listen from um, Ningzi. What is your dream job, Ningzi? A quick one, Ningzi. What is your dream job? A pilot. A pilot. And Haris, what is your dream job? I want to be a master chef. Oh, that's why he dressing up as a chef. Today, mm -hmm. okay. I guess that I guess that's all for okay. this guessing game activity. Mr. Haikal, as we've seen here, perhaps Ninzi and Harris would uh, get another thumbs up. Yes, yes, they will ah. get thumbs up for their active participation and to this class. Ah, great. Okay, now we're talking about thumbs up. Perhaps Mr. Haikal can mm -hmm. give an overall feedback on their performances, the pupils that we have online today. All right, so all of them, the four pupils today, did an amazing job okay, in our listening activities. Right. All right, they did manage to uh, achieve the objectives of today's lesson. Mm -hmm. yeah, wonderful job. Please give yourself a big round of applause. Okay, so double thumbs up, Mr. Haikal. Yes. Great job, everyone. All right, so next, perhaps for pupils, who are at home and wanting to do more activities for today's class, perhaps they have um, a place where they can get materials uh, to do more activities. They do, Shafika. They, do? they can uh, access to Sumberku KPM. Ah, okay, as uh, detailed on the screen right now. Okay, Mr. Haikal, thank you for yep. being with us here today and sharing okay. your knowledge for everyone to learn more and keep and perhaps do more activities at home. And thank you also to Mr. Ko, our sign language teacher for today. Thanks for being with us here and pupils online. You were incredible today. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Okay, before we end the show, we have a little bit of a performance mm -hmm. from Mr. Haikal himself. 
So before that, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye. Bye bye. So as I'm dressing up as a chef, mm -hmm. it's a song called Cool Cool Chef. Ready? Right. I'm a cool cool chef. Cook, bake, and fry. I love this super hat. I'm a cool, cool chef. Cool apron, cool uniform, cool hat, cool ladle, cool knife, cool whisk, cool kitchen to work around. I'm a cool, cool chef. Cook, bake, and fry. I like this super hat. I'm a cool, cool chef. I'm a cool, cool chef. Together, I'm a cool, cool chef.